see him? You see him up there? Here we go again, cutting down more, more trees, more trees. He's gonna cut that whole limb off, I believe. And if you hear noise, my dog is barking, and the neighbors, I will show you what the neighbors are doing. He might take the camera up there with him, I'm not sure. But the neighbors got this backhoe thing going over there, so it might be a little noisy. I don't know, we'll see. Well, who's the lumberjack? Johnny Appleseed, was he a lumberjack? I don't know. I don't know either. You're all harnessed in there, yep. safety, safety first. Safety first. So what's your plan? You're gonna cut, which one are you cutting now? Well, let me see the camera. I got to get the camera for a few minutes? Certainly. Okay, what I've done, let me zoom in here a little bit, I can show you what I've done so far. Ladder is up there. See a strap right around the tree? I strapped the ladder to the tree. So now, if for some reason, the ladder gets kicked out from under me, or something happens, the ladder will stay with the tree. I've also got a D-ring up there attached to that same strap. That strap is an OSHA, OSHA approved strap, harness. For real? For real. The harness I'm wearing, also OSHA approved harness. It's a retaining ring, safety ring, and if you can see it on it, I have my wife video from the back. Gotcha, I got you. In case of a fall, see this big box right here? Whoa, you are freaking zoomed. Now I goes in? Yeah. I won't fall. If I do, it won't go very far. Okay. It'll go as far as I want to go. So it's like a seatbelt. It's like a seatbelt. Fall and sudden jerk. It locks in place. So there I'm hanging from this. Okay. My harness. Okay. Got you. My wife is going to be in charge of. I'm going to be in charge of the line. Tied to the four wheeler. Tied to the D ring. So basically, if something happens, if the limb falls or I fall, the ladder falls, I'm hanging there and the thing. My wife, all she wants me to do is drive the four wheeler forward and lower me down. See? I didn't know I was involved in this. <laughs> I just came out here to film. I didn't come out here to work. Oh. Anyways, I got two chainsaws I'm going to use for this job. Hopefully one, but maybe two. I'm reaching over this one limb to cut that smaller limb first. I got a 16 inch saw. It's an old home light that's kind of heavy. I don't know if I can hold it out to one hand and operate it. If I have to, I'll use my, my little 12 inch. It was last time for my tree cutting operation. The one that Scott had to start? Yes. So let's hope that you don't have to send it down and I have to start it. Well, the problem we're having with it starting is that the rope was tying onto the, I had tied onto the saw right by the kill button. Oh, so it kept hitting So it never kept hitting the, hit, hit, hitting the kill button and killing the motor. I can't start it from up there because they have nowhere to pull. So now, I'll be ready. Okay. There he goes. I really don't want to be involved in this. I really don't. I guess I'm going to be. Maybe I'll go get my tripod. I do have a tripod, one of those Joby tripod things. I might need that. I don't know. But he has given me a, if you look, if, see, we're in the same, I'm in the same clothes I was probably in the other video. Because he keeps giving me, like, he keeps doing stuff, so I just keep filming it. I'm like, why not? You know, why not? He's a man with a weapon. Okay, now he's going to back that up to get some tension on the line. And I guess it's my job to pull forward if he falls. If I feel like it. I mean, I could leave him hanging in the tree. I could. If he falls and he's hanging in the tree, I'll film that first and then I'll get him down, okay? So you don't miss anything. I don't have to do anything. I'm hoping.
job. This thing here is dull though. So I want a dish. So I'm gonna use the, the big, big, the bigger saw for the uh, other part. You're gonna cut that other part down today? I'm thinking. Okay. I'm already here. There he goes. Back up the tree. Now I'm filming with my phone because the camera battery died. But let's do this, huh? This one kind of worries me. Safely to the ground and safely. Oh, goodness. Wow. That's a big difference there. Big difference there. Straight down. Yeah, that was good. Very good. Is the wood dead? Is it? No. No. Alive. Not like the other one that just kind of cracked and broke. The other one was on the, 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 the water hadn't got to that part of the tree yet. When spring comes, all the water is back up in the trees. Right. And that's where it gets her, her blooms from. Well, good. He wanted to cut these down before they, they uh, bloomed. It'd be easier. Yeah, before I get, uh, before I get the leaves on it. All right, good job. Thank you. Let me get some of these limbs off. Bigger limbs. Okay. So burn them up. Alright. We do have a nice nice little log pile over here, but we don't burn with wood here. Or heat with wood in the house. That's pretty big. Hmm. Alright, it's down. Look at the dent it made. Yeah. Made hard. a big dent in the yard. You got it over there. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's go look over there. It's a heavy log. Look at it. It's in the ground. Wow, it's a heavy log. All right. Well, that's it for this video. You want to end this? Yep. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs up. He didn't fall out the tree. Well, that's true. Well, I, safety first. Safety first. <laughs> All right. What else I got to say here? Oh. Turn your notifications too. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>